again, everyone, and welcome to this feature overview video. Today, we're going to take a look at Landis Contact Center for Microsoft Teams. And the goal of this uh, video is to just give you a general overview of the functionality it includes. We're going to look at the actual product so you can see some visuals on some of the reporting and setup and configuration. Uh, and so we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, the types of features that this product adds to your Microsoft Teams environment there. So let's take a look. First of all, I wanted to just start by touching a little bit on how this product integrates with your Teams environment. Uh, this is a very important part of the platform. Landis only develops solutions around Microsoft Teams, and we want to make sure they integrate and complement your Teams environment. Microsoft has two different certification types for uh, Contact Center. And obviously, this is a certified product with Microsoft Teams. And we are certified as an Extend Contact Center. And that simply means we're using Microsoft APIs to add all this functionality inside of your Teams tenant without needing to route call traffic outside of your environment. We're not routing your call traffic through our servers or anything like that. Uh, the Extend model simply allows us to use Microsoft APIs to deliver a much more integrated experience. The other version that Teams would offer or, or that they certify are connected contact centers, or you can think of those more as like a bolt-on type of contact center. And connect contact centers would require call traffic routing through an external service to add functionality and then sending it back to your Teams environment. And it's typically a lot more involved in the setup and configuration, oftentimes a little bit more costly as well, uh, specific routing requirements and so on. So we definitely see the benefit of the Extend model. Uh, and like I mentioned, that is what Landis is certified as. OK, so let's dive into some of the features. And we're going to start with the agents uh, and looking at things from an agent's point of view. And one thing you'll notice with the look and feel and the way Landis is architected is we want this to blend and, and kind of disappear into teams for your agents. Uh, and so I think you'll find that it's not a major shift for your agents to onboard into this. Um, it's not like they're learning a completely new platform or anything like that. It blends within their team's day-to-day -day operation, and it feels like it's a natural part of teams for them. So just to touch on a few of the functionalities that your agents can expect, first of all, like mentioned, this is a, an app that sits right inside of your team's environment there, or uh, rather your team's desktop client. They can sign in with their Microsoft credentials. Of course, you can show them some basic statistics and uh, call, uh, call volumes and whatnot. So they can see how they've been doing, the amount of calls they personally have taken. There's also an agent panel area that allows them to sign in and out of the call queues that you give them responsibility for. Uh, they can also put themselves on break or any status that you give them to pick from. Again, these are all completely custom. They can select uh, their reason for being unavailable. And then, of course, you as a manager can track this on the back end. So being able to tell how long their breaks are lasting. Are they signing into the queue when they're supposed to? And so on. For an agent that's signed in and available uh, and ready to start taking calls, again, these are regular Teams calls that are ringing to them. So they can answer those calls using the Teams call controls that they would be familiar with if, if they need to put on hold, transfer, uh, this would be a, a normal Teams call. Now, we do offer some additional information within the agent panel. For example, you could present to them some CRM information while the call is ringing to them and also once it's connected. So as the call is ringing, they can see who they're about to talk to and the details around this account. And this integrates with a wide variety of databases such as Dynamics, Salesforce, ServiceNow, uh, and just about any other type of CR, uh, major CRM. As the call is being completed, you can also present some wrap-up questions on screen to the agents as well. So giving them the ability to uh, answer some questions. Again, it's all about having more data to work with. And this is another data set that you can pull out of your contact center, making sure management understands why calls are calling in. What topics are they requesting? What issues are they facing? Uh, so you can spot trends. And, and the wrap-up questions are a really great way to do that. This also allows your agent uh, some moments to pause and, and have some time to complete data entry uh, via the wrap-up timer there before they're put back into the queue and made available for the next available call or the next incoming call. So yeah, really simple experience for the agents. Basically, standard Teams call handling like they would be used to, and just some additional supporting features that allow them to do things like the wrap-up questions, see CRM integration, uh, and manage their status. 
All right, so let's take a look at the management side of things. Obviously, a large part of the, the functionality around contact centers is being able to track data and managers being able to see what's going on with their team. Uh, and obviously, Landis is no exception with lots of built-in reports that your managers have access to. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to navigate away from the slide deck, and we're going to take a look at the actual contact center product uh, like you see. So once again, this is an application right inside of Teams. Uh, the whole service is available via web app as well. So for any manager, admin, or agent, or anyone that needs to sign in if they're on a different device or if they'd rather sign in on a web uh, tab versus the app, they can do that as well. In addition, the platform allows for very granular control in terms of the permissions for each user. Um, so I'm signed in with more of an admin manager type user. Uh, and so there's a lot of menus here around configuration, settings, queue management, uh, reports that I can see as a manager, but if the agent were to sign in, of course, those buttons and icons would not be visible to them. Uh, and in the same regard, you can have, uh, let's say you had two managers that manage different teams. You can split the visibility so that the one manager can only see the team that they're managing and the other manager sees their team and they're not getting the, the data confused or mixed up. So it really allows for, as you have maybe multiple locations, different regions, you can really build out the architecture of your contact center so that everyone has correct access. Lots of customization in terms of laying out your dashboard so you can monitor key metrics. Uh, there are areas to monitor live activity, uh, a, a simple wall board that can show amount of calls in progress and the SLAs and how many calls are waiting, what's the longest wait time currently. And of course, you can customize all this. The, the icons, fonts, looks and feel uh, can be managed uh, to make sure it blends in with your environment there. There's other live areas such as uh, managers being able to watch the Q status board, a, a little mini wall board that allows them to see at a glance across all of the call queues, how many calls are waiting, uh, uh, how many calls are in queue or connected, but then more specific uh, specific information on the, the agents themselves that are in the queue, um, being able to see who's signed in, what their status is, are they available, and even the ability to override an agent's sign-in status so we can click a button and have them added to the queue so they start receiving phone calls. Uh, we can override their, their status as well. If they're marked as on break and we want to take them off, we can do that. There's also a calls tab here where we can see all the calls that are in progress in that queue. Uh, and if we have been given permissions, we can also manage the calls uh, more specifically. So I see a call in progress here. I can expand it. I can see uh, sentiment analysis and live transcription. So it gives me an indication as to how it feels this conversation is going for the agent. But then in addition, if I feel the need to intervene with this call, I have all of my coaching tools here as well. I can barge in and take over for the agent or assist the agent in live time. I can listen only if I wanted to just uh, eavesdrop into the conversation. And of course, the agent or the caller would not be aware of me listening in. Or I can whisper to the agent where I can actually talk to them and offer guidance that the caller cannot hear. So if there's a situation unfolding, the, the manager can be very involved and make sure that the agent is getting the assistance that they need in, in live time. There's also a whole plethora of historic reports that the system captures. Uh, and these reports are built in. Uh, th there's no customization needed on your side in terms of build building out Power BI dashboards or anything like that. These are built into the system really makes it easy to watch the metrics that you want to watch. Now, with all of these reports, you'll notice the ability to easily adjust the, the data columns that you want to see, uh, reorganize the data, of course, set the date range for uh, you know the dates that you want to look at. You can even easily export data to Excel if you want to work with it farther. And so you notice those icons on each of these reports that really allows you to work with the data to your liking. There's a queue summary page, for example, that allows you to see an overview of the team as a whole, how they're doing and their, their call volumes that they're taking. Are they missing calls? What's the average wait time in the queue? Uh, just gives you some insights uh, that just in a general sense give you an idea as to how they're managing the traffic. You, could, uh, of course, can drill down to the queue details, which shows you the actual call logs for that queue and every call that took place. We can search a phone number. Uh, if there was a complaint, we could dive into any particular call even farther and view details. We can see, uh, you know, as that call came in, the menu options they selected in the IVR that led them to the queue. As they were in the queue, we can tell 
who all the call was offered to, did they reject it? You know, so really allows for that cradle to grave tracking on any call that has taken place and giving you the insights as to exactly what happened with it. We can also see things like agent summaries so you can track your individual user or your individual agents and how they're spending their time, uh, how many calls they're answering, inbound, outbound, their responsiveness, are they rejecting calls? A uh, lot of different statistics here that can be watched just to give you an idea as to how each of your individual agents is handling the call volume. Uh, just to touch on a few other, and we're not going to go into each report in, in high level of detail here in this overview, um, but just a few other things I wanted to touch on. First of all, there's the ability uh, to record calls, of course, so you can easily set a recording policy for any contact center agent. Uh, very easy to control the policy the way you want it, so the, the correct calls are recorded, and obviously easily play them back here within the portal. I did want to mention, though, audio recording is available as a standalone license, meaning you can set up a recording policy for any team's user in the environment, even if they are not part of Landis Contact Center or part of a Contact Center queue. Um, so the recording is available as a standalone solution. We even have organizations that re deploy the recording portion only. Uh, so that is available. So uh, really makes it easy to roll out policies across your entire organization and capture the calls that need to be captured. Just a few other reports that I'll quickly point out. One is the ability to look at uh, time of day and, and seeing what time of day your call volumes are highest and lowest. You know, Why do we seem to be missing calls at three in the afternoon? You can dive into the stats on that, making sure you have adequate personnel uh, at the necessary times. And even looking at the agent timeline, so we can see how a particular user is spending their time. Are they signing in at the appropriate time? What are their status changes throughout the day? We can see here how much time they're spending on break, working on tickets, available, any other status that you give them to, to pick from. As they change their status throughout the day, we have that visibility. And of course, we can also see calls that they were involved in and the duration of those calls. So we're, we're going to move on to some of the, the admin settings, uh, but I just wanted to touch briefly on the reporting. There's a lot more there, uh, lots of uh, reports that can be customized as well. There's the ability to push data externally uh, if there's other Power BI dashboards you would like to create. Uh, so you really do have access to the data so that you can use it the way you need to. Now on to some of the admin settings. Uh, I think you'll find the the menu options or the 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 interface to be quite intuitive, and especially a user that is familiar with the Teams admin portal. Uh, I think you'll find this setup and configuration quite straightforward. Uh, here we're looking at queue management settings where you can easily uh, adjust the timeout and the the ring methods and how we're offering calls to the agents, setting up skills based routing. Uh, announcement uh, in queue, letting the caller know what position they are, offering them a callback, offering them voicemail, different things like that, that really make, make it possible to control what that caller experience is like and what their experience is like in the queue. I also wanted to point out the Landis IVR. Uh, the Landis IVR sits in front of the call queues, of course. This is similar to Teams Auto Attendant in its function, but it offers so much more capability. So. It is a very easy to operate uh, low code, no code app builder, essentially, where you can build out the call flow scenarios. You can monitor your or, or add the correct business hours and listen to tone and prompts and things like that. Uh, the standard press one for sales, two for service type menus that you might be familiar with. However, there's a lot more options that can be built in, including various data dips that could look at a CRM and make routing decisions based on CRM data. Uh, it could gather information to read back to the caller. It can even utilize voice input blocks and serve as a natural language voice bot, uh, perhaps after hours. We still want to do our best to provide answers to these callers. Um, or maybe as a first line, we want to try to answer the question and maybe get the question answered before it needs to be sent to a queue. Uh, the voice input blocks allows for that. So it has some really interesting uh, tie-ins with OpenAI that can decipher what the caller is asking for as they talk to it in a natural tone of voice and provide answers, route calls accordingly, uh, 
find information from a database that you pointed towards and, and uh, resolve the, the caller's question. So there's so much capability there. Uh, as you, you know, sit down and think about what could be the best caller experience, how can we best serve our, our customers, the Landis IVR can offer a lot of support in getting that built out. And in addition, from the admin side of things, we have very detailed documentation that as you're going to make changes and, and adjust your contact center, you have the ability to look up and see uh, an overview of what the setting does and how it's managed. And of course, Landis has great live support. If you're unsure as you're making a change, you're, you're of course happy to connect to one of our agents and they can help you out with that. All right, I think that's all we're gonna cover in today's overview. Now, everything that we looked at here, the Landis Contact Center, the recording, all of this is available as a free trial. And it's really, you know, like I mentioned, it plugs into Teams very easily. It's something that you can easily set up as a trial and test it out within your own environment. And we'd be happy to support that. Uh, so feel free to reach out to us, schedule uh, a call. We can jump on a call and make sure everything gets plugged in uh, and you can test it out within your environment. Thanks for watching. Thank you.